वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.3 सो द स्टेटमेंट इज एल्यूमिनियम ब्लॉक हैज अ रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्सियल कंप्रेसिव फोर्स ऑफ एट केप्स इफ द साइड 1.5 इंच चेंज इट्स लेंथ टू 1.500132 इंच डिटरमाइन द पॉइजन रेशियो एंड द न्यू लेंथ ऑफ द 2 इंच एल्यूमिनियम मॉड्यूलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी इज 20, 10 into 10 is power 3 ksi so you can see this is the aluminium block having cross section 1.5 inch and height is 2 inch and 8 kips axial compressive force is applied the length of this block is 3 inch so given data is that axial compressive force that is 8 kips modulus of elasticity of aluminium is given as 10 into 10 is to power 3 पी एस के एस आई के एस आई एंड आल्सो वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द फर्स्ट वन इज पॉइजान रेशो पॉइजान रेशो एंड द पॉइजान रेशो इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज नू एंड द सेकेंड थिंग इज the new length uh, and new length of 2 inch side new length new length of 2 inch side so let's start with the solution now you can see that uh, due to this compressive force clear the length will decrease but this height will increase and this width side of width which will also increase and the that increase in length of 1.5 side is given as 1.50332 and we know that poisson ratio is equal to minus strain in lateral direction divided by strain in longitudinal direction now what does strain in lateral di uh, direction means that strain either this is the axial direction or longitudinal direction clear and this direction is lateral direction or the di this direction is lateral direction because it is perpendicular to uh, longitudinal so you can see either this one and are this in this direction this is lateral direction okay so first we will uh, uh, find the stress because we do not know here lateral strain and uh, longitudinal strain so for that we will find the stress so stress we know that is equal to uh, p divided by a so here it is compressive stress so it will be minus p divided by a clear and area of area for this uh, rectangle is a is equal to height which is 2 inch and width is 1.5 inch so 2 into 1.5 inch so we will put the value so stress will be equal to minus p and minus p is you can see that is uh, p is 8 kips so this is compressive so minus 8 divided by area which is 2 into 1.5 so from here you will get the compressive strain stress is minus 2.667 okay 7 kips now uh my this is minus 2.77 kips now we know that uh, stress this is compressive stress and in longitudinal direction so we know that stress is equal to longitudinal strain into modulus of elasticity of that aluminium so what we will do is that we will put the value we know, we we have to find the longitudinal strain so longitudinal strain is equal to stress divided by modulus of elasticity of aluminium so stress is minus 2.667 kips clear and e is given as you can see 10 into 10 is to power 3 ksi so 10 into 10 is to power 3 k 
Ps i. So from here you will get strain in longitudinal directions comes out to be minus 0.0002667. So negative means that the length is going to decrease. So three inch length is now decreasing. So there will be decrease in length. In turn, there will be increase in height as well as weight. So we will find that also. Now we know that uh, lateral strain. So lateral strain is equal to lateral strain for this. Uh, let me clear it first. So lateral strain strain for this weight 1.5. So it is given that uh, this will be the uh, final weight final weight minus original weight divided by original weight. Okay, so lateral strain will be equal to final width that is given as 1.500132. So 1.500132 minus original width is this one, 1.5. So minus 1.5 divided by 1.5 and that will be equal to 0. Double zero, double zero, eight zero, eight eight zero, and that is lateral strain. Now we have longitudinal strain as well as well we have lateral strain. So you can put in the formula of Poisson's ratio, and Poisson ratio is equal to minus lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain so you can put the value so minus 0 0.00880 divided by longitudinal strain is minus longitudinal strain is minus 0 0.00266 so you will get this Poisson ratio will be equal to 0 0.330. So this is the answer of our first part. Now we'll move towards second part. In second part, it was given that what will be the uh, new length of 2 inch. So this is the initial length of 2 inch. Now there is an increase. So this increase h dash new height will be equal to 2 plus this nu, uh, sorry, not nu, this lateral strain 0 0.00880 into 2 because it will, uh, the, it will elongate in upper as well as lower portion. So when you multiply it, so you will get the new height will be equal to 2 point double zero zero one seven six inch so this will be the new height as well so due to this load this height will increase this two inch height will now this new h dash will be equal to two point double zero one seven six inch Okay, so that's, that was all about our uh, problem 3.33. So again, if you are new to my channel, then subscribe my channel and keep watching the videos. Thank you.